We have new reaction this morning from concerned residents in West Bloomfield and Farmington Hills. This after several people found bags filled with anti-Semitic writings. Police say plastic bags were found outside over 100 homes and residents are telling our Sean Lay they are worried about their safety. These were left in a lot of driveways. In fact, three police agencies here in Oakland County are on this case. More than 100 neighbors in Farmington Hills woke up to a small baggie on their driveway inside. Messages of division, hate, and anti-Semitism. This has shaken people up. This man wants to get the word out, but doesn't want to be identified. But the funny thing is my sprinkler guy, he's Detroit police detective. What did he say? Oh, he came and checked it out, and then he told me I shouldn't have touched it. <laughs> did he have anything else to say? Um, well, he said you should call it in, which I did after he left. And then he got home to his subdivision near Pontiac Trail and Welch, and it was on his driveway. West Bloomfield police also investigating who put out another hundred of these in their neighborhoods. Reports of the same thing in White Lake. Farmington Hills Police Chief Jeff King points out Monday is the year anniversary of the Hamas attack on Israel. We want our community to know, specifically our Jewish community, it's part of our community, that we are, are aware of this, we are cognizant of the timing, and uh, we, uh, uh, we will not tolerate this kind of, uh, uh, of hate-based uh, activity in our community. You know, there's a lot of effort, especially since it's so widespread, there's a lot of effort being put into trying to stoke hate. Hundreds of these things. And it's, it just sucks. Now, police are asking people to check their doorbell cameras to see if there's anything that can help them track these people down. Sean Lee, Local 4. And in addition to checking doorbell cameras, anyone with information about this is asked to call the Farmington Hills or West Bloomfield Police Departments.